Let's do an old car song. Okay. This was uh, written about a um, kind of peak experience I had one day in North Florida. I was driving on a country road outside Gainesville back in the 70s, and I was uh, driving a car that I paid $150 for. It was a 1966 Plymouth Valiant that um, the, I bought it from the kid's mother. He had gone on the Army. He was going to make a beach buggy out of it. It was all rusted out. You could see holes on the floorboard so big that you could see the pavement rushing by under your feet. And the, the head, the, he took the front fenders off and mounted the headlights in plywood squares. It looked kind of like a weird Edsel. It's just kind of funky brown color. People used to really stop and look at it. It was like driving a Lamborghini in reverse or something. <laughs> You know, it really caught, got a lot of attention, burned a lot of oil. But I was driving down this road in North Florida on a beautiful winter day, and all of a sudden, it was just all right the way it was. Mm -hmm. I had no money. I was worrying about the engine falling in on the pavement, as I did every time I cranked it up. But it was just all okay for for a few minutes there. Mm -hmm. It's called Old Car Song. One, two, three. The cold wind was a-blowing Through the rust holes in the floorboard As I eyed the faulty gauges for some sign of sudden doom And I strained to hear the knocking Mid the noise of that old engine while the 30 weight went rolling out behind me like a plume The heater disconnected And the radio not working But such frills were secondary to those old tires singing long And I guess I did look funny For all the people laughed and pointed, they really did too when the spirit of the moment led me smiling into song And I sing thank you for putting all of this together And thank you for the feelings that I feel And thank you for the mysteries awaiting And thank you for the memories so real. And thank you for the lifetime in each moment. And thank you for the lows that make the highs. And thank you for these six old pounding pistons. And thank you for a truth that never lies. On out beyond the windshield, I could see the big world turning. I was steering on across it, feeling out each crooked mile. And life breathed in the sunshine, and death lay in the shadows. When the spirit of the moment frame their dance just like a smile. Thank you for putting all of this together. Thank you for the feelings that I feel. And thank you for the mysteries awaiting. And thank you for the memories, so very real. And thank you for the lifetime in each and every moment. And thank you for the lows that we need to make the highs. And thank you for these six old pounding pistons. And last but not least, Thank you for a truth that never lies. Ooh, do, do. 
comes up for me listening to that song is is perfect you know the Mm -hmm. the the recognition that every moment is perfect that you could say every moment is god's plan in action um just exactly the way it is and exactly the way it it isn't um and recognizing that is is what that that high moment was yeah it makes me think of a, a story someone told me once about um i can't remember exactly how the setup was you know some like God or somebody was kind of assessing, you know, where different people who were on the spiritual path were in terms of their, um, how close they were to enlightenment. And they went by somebody that deep in meditation that had been meditating, you know, 18 hours a day for 20 years and like, well, hmm, yeah, he's got some way to go. And then went up to somebody who was, you know, out, um, you know, doing good deeds in the world and you know it's really well yeah they're fine they're they're pretty long on the path but they still got some way to go and then they came up upon a woman who was dancing in just the ecstasy of the perfection of the moment and they said she, she is enlightened and she who didn't you know didn't want to leave life you know but it was like at that moment she was like gone because she had achieved that state of real total acceptance of the perfection of the moment which is seeing that the you know the the bad and the good are all the yin and the yang are all part of what makes it go round and 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 to resist one is is to deny the other and um and it's and I, I think that's what what we're after here is that it's the all about the experience of life that's the purpose of life is the exper- is to experience i think you said you'd kill anybody that said it but that the purpose of life is to experience life, but it really is. That's what it is about. It seeks because that's what it's if 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 it's created for the experience oh, so the of meaning limitation. Of life is living. Ah. But if the if the life. the reason for um, the universe is for the unlimited to experience limitation, well, then that's what the purpose of life is: is to experience limitation, to experience life, and life in and of itself is limited i mean we're going to die that's pretty limited right there so far do we do we beat to achieve physical immortality and then there's the return journey too the the first purpose of life we suggest or the universe is for the unlimited to experience limitation then on the way back it allows the limited that's us to experience the unlimited as we start becoming aware that the infinite really exists, what some people call God. Mm -hmm. And the third purpose of the universe actually allows the unlimited to experience the unlimited, to experience itself. Like Johnny Mitchell said, don't it always seem to go? You don't know what you've got till it's gone. Mm -hmm. Only by, if you're infinite, you, only through separation, only by losing yourself for maybe 125 billion year universe cycle, and coming back to yourself, can you really get an idea of who you really are? So there's a long way to go. But <laughs> I guess our message is you really can't screw up. That's you right. Know, it's like, 